When I think of my favorite video game franchises of all time, I think of games like Elder Scrolls, Fallout, Mass Effect, and even the Soulsborne series. But before I played any of those games, one series always stood out to me, even as a kid. That series is Resident Evil. Growing up, Resident Evil games scared the crap out of me, but I found myself completely enamored by the franchise. I read the books, played all the games, and even had action figures growing up. So I knew when I finally got my PS5, Resident Evil 2 would be one of the first games I would platinum. And that's exactly what we're doing in today's video. The first step to get to the platinum on Resident Evil 2 is to first just beat the game on the easiest difficulty, collect all the miscellaneous trophies along the way, Make sure not to miss two highly missable trophies and slowly start working on the collectibles. There's our first trophy. Welcome to the City of the Dead. And the game begins. Hey, trophy unlocked. First break in. Look at us. We're thieves. Come here. Yeah, I don't need no stinking gun. I got you with my knife. <laughs> Upgrade. Hip pouch. Hip to add squares. Firm extermination. There's like four trophies in this room. It's crazy. It's the trophy room. Okay. I should get a trophy if I board up these windows here. Let's see. There it is. That'll hold them. <laughs> Stay where you are, zombie. No one wants you in here. I think combining these two herbs should also give me a trophy. There we go. The basis of survival. I'm knocking these out right now. Knocking them out. Ooh, that was a that was a puzzle right there. A vault like mine trophy. Hey, customizer. <laughs> trophy unlocked. Oh my god, I'm getting chased by liquors. Path to the goddess trophy earned. Oh yeah, William. No choice. Gotta take it down. Yeah, no shit, Leon. Eat this, William. Oh, trophy like skeet shooting. Shot a dog in the midair. Oh, another one. Hey there, buddy. Give me a trophy real quick. <laughs> Hats off. Okay, don't hurt me, please. Trophy never ending rain. Chasing Jill. So I have to make it through this whole segment as Ada Wong and not use my weapon. All right, so we just beat, uh, we should be getting the trophy here for this Ada Wong's is sequence. Is Didn't use my gun the whole time. Here we go, the trophy, one slick super sub, one slick super spy. Ada, where are you? Master of unlocking. Open all the safes and locks in the game. Look at us. Right now I'm working on a trophy where I have to fight William Birkin uh, and I have to injure him enough where I could use this crane on him one time to kill him. All right, so he's down right now. Gotta make sure I injure him enough. And I'm gonna press that red button over there and we're gonna kill him. Oh, try not to get hit though by the slice. I think I got down it one more time. This is probably good enough. Come on, Crane, do your work. Do it. Yeah, gotcha. <laughs> 
A great need for a shower. Trophy earned. Escape from the sewers. Here we go, boys. Trophy time. Zombie roundup, baby. Oh my god, it's still alive. Thank you very much for a trophy. A waste of space. Maximum inventory upgraded. After playing through the game and unlocking a ton of trophies, I was finally nearing the end of my very first playthrough. All I had to do was beat the last boss and the last trophy was mine, but there was a hidden missable trophy. I had to beat this last boss with five minutes left on the clock. If I didn't do that, I would miss the trophy and have to play through the story again to try to unlock it later. How much magnum ammo can you take? Oh my god. He's going Super Saiyan. Oh, I'm so screwed. Hit him with it. Yeah. In the blink of an eye. A hero emerges. Complete Leon's story. With Leon Kennedy's story beaten, it was now time to beat the story as Claire Redfield. I wanted to try to knock out extra trophies with this playthrough, so I decided to go for the Frugalist trophy, which means beat the game without healing one time, and the Carbon Footprint trophy, which means you have to beat the game with taking fewer than 14,000 steps. So my goal was to beat this playthrough and unlock all three of these trophies. All right, so for this trophy, I have to escape this room as Sherry in under 60 seconds. So let's try to do that. Under 60 seconds. All right, get the doll. Examine the doll. Open the doll. Creepy looking doll. We don't like this doll. I hate this puzzle. Okay, take the block. Boom. That goes there. This goes here. This goes... Shit. This goes there. This goes there. No. There. Okay, that's gotta be less than six seconds, right? Grab the scissors. Run, Sherry. Use it or lose it. Come on. That's gotta be less than six seconds. Yes. What is this? Young escapee. Oh my god. Hide and seek. Wait, Completed asshole. Sherry's segment. Eventually, I made my way all the way through Claire's storyline and had to fight the final boss. Just like with Leon's final boss, I had to beat this boss with four minutes left on the clock. If I did that, I unlocked a trophy. Oh god, it's gonna jump. It's gonna jump. I need you to die, sir. I need you to die. Yo! Die, you bastard! Let's set him on fire. Oh, he's gonna jump. He's jumping. Come on! You need to die. You need to die right now. I want this trophy. Yeah! With time to spare. Let's go. You're dead. You're super dead. Later, William. Later. Peace out. Catch you in the next game. Actually, I won't. Because you're dead. You're dead. Alright, a heroine emerges. Beat the story with Claire Redfield. Frugalis, we beat the story without even healing. Let's go. And a small carbon footprint. Take 14,000 steps or fewer in one playthrough. Knocked out three big trophies. With the main stories done with both characters, it was now time to do the B scenarios. B scenarios are basically what the other character was doing while you were playing through the game. I decided to start with Leon and at the same time work on getting an S rating on normal difficulty. To get an S rating, I basically had to complete the game in under three hours. 
While I was working through these B scenarios, I was also getting collectibles that you can only find within these scenarios. Okay, right here, 15 out of 15. There it is, complete vermin extermination. Nice, all the raccoons are destroyed. <laughs> Boom, bon appetit, zombie. <laughs> nice. You got a problem with death? Here's a rocket. You like rockets? Oh, you don't like that, do ya? That's crazy. Yeah. There we go. Leon S. Kennedy, S. Rank. And Broken Umbrella. Witness the true ending. Lore Explorer. Trophy earned. All the collectibles are done. Nice. Let's keep going. Come on, eyeball. Now we unload. Unlimited power. <laughs> oh, man. And there you have it, Hardcore College Students. Complete Claire's story on Hardcore Game Mode. As well as Sizzling Scarlet Hero. Complete Claire's story on Standard or Hardcore with an S rank. Okay, so while I was playing the story, I actually missed a trophy that I could have done while playing the story. Basically, you come down to the sewers and you find this roll of tape here. I have to take this roll of tape uh, a film actually and go back up to the police station and develop it and find two hidden hiding spots use it and it gives us two hiding places so I just have to go to these two spots anyways oh, there's fuel there there it is treasure hunter trophy pretty simple but I missed it the first time that I, I played through the game so with those trophies out of the way, I now only needed two more playthroughs to get all of the story-based trophies. I had to beat the game one more time on hardcore mode as Leon, and then I had to beat the game without using the item box. Once I got these two trophies, it was on to the DLC. This should be it. I mean, we're at, we're at the end here. I got one last rocket. I'm super hurt. Tons of zombies gonna come out. We're gonna blow them up. My last rocket. We're gonna limp. Limp to victory. And there it is. Boom. Hardcore rookie. All we need to do is literally stand here. As soon as this guy opens up his eyeballs, we're gonna lay into him with the minigun, and he's gonna die. And we're gonna get the trophy. I haven't shot any bullets yet, Claire, but I love the enthusiasm. Love it. You haven't shot any bullets at him, Claire. That's why he's still kicking. All right, right here. Now we just lay into him. GG. Easy. And there it is, minimalist. Clear the game without opening the item box. Mmm. With the campaign trophies out of the way, all I needed now was just to do the DLC. You don't technically have to do the DLC to get the Platinum Trophy, but it would hurt my soul to not see 100% on my profile with all the trophies. So I decided to just get the DLC trophies real quick. So the DLC consists of four different scenarios. Each scenario, you basically have a beginning point and an end point. You're just trying to get from the beginning to the end and get the best time possible. The first thing I needed to do was just get all the shootable raccoons in all four scenarios. There's the first one. Should be a Mr. Raccoon right here. Here we go. There's one right here. There's a Mr. Raccoon. Sweet. There he is. Last raccoon for this mission right here. There's the first one right here. One down. Here's the other raccoon. Here's the last raccoon for this area. 
Alright, that's one. There should only be one more left in this scenario. Oh! I need to get around him. Oh, I got saved. Okay, there should be a raccoon in here somewhere. Here he is. Oh, God. There it is. Got him. All the raccoons. Trophy earned. The last DLC trophy I need to do was basically survive in this convenience store room and kill a hundred enemies. This was actually pretty challenging and it took me a couple tries, but it felt really good to finally be done with it. What we got? Spark shot? Okay. We're gonna discard this spark shot. Pick up that new one. What does he got? Anti-tank rocket. We're gonna come back for that. I, use, I need to use this one shotgun shot. Use the spark shot on these armored guys. This is this is stressful. It's what this is. This is actually stressful. Okay, fire doesn't bother you. You just you're just gonna get lit up and and just not be bothered, huh? The flamethrower is useless. The flamethrower is useless. Oh my god, there's zombies everywhere, man. I need better weapons. So many f little... I would love a new gun. A new gun would be super tight, right? Are we ingredients? Drop this. Oh my god, Bruh. it's herbs. Why? Why are you giving me herbs? I don't want plants, I want bullets. Shit. Give me a gun. Hell yeah. Die, you spawn of Satan. You're next. Yes. All right, we only need four more kills. Where are you at? You're all getting the juice. You're getting the juice. I need one more kill. One more kill. I said this guy. There it is. Hell of a sheriff. Oh my God. Yes. Yes. DLC done. All right, I just have to beat this mode before survivor mode from the main game and I will get the platinum trophy for Resident Evil 2. Only thing staying my way is this mode. Let's go. We're moving, we're moving. That platinum trophy's mine. That platinum trophy is mine. Nothing can stop me. I'm hunk. Literally trained my whole life for this. Oh, we got dogs. Oh, we got dogs. It's all right. I got health. I got. I got a shield. I got a shield. Get off me, dogs. God. Come on, hunk. Just get to this room. All right, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're moving. I could smell the platinum trophy. Smell it. <laughs> hey there, big boy. Oh. All right, I'm gonna try to zoom past him. Let's get out of here, let's get out of here, let's get out of here. Perfect, perfection, absolute perfection. We can do this. The ultimate challenge for the Platinum, man. <laughs> this is so intense. Run, 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 run. Mr. X, I need you to sit down. Oh shit.
All right, I'm out of here. I'm leaving. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my, oh my god. We're almost there, guys. So lucky. I'm so lucky right now. Oh my god. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta get out of here. Move, move, move. I need the platinum trophy. Please. Yes. Grim Reaper. Oh my god. The platinum. Raccoon City native. Yes. We did it. There it is, guys. All the trophies collected for Resident Evil 2. And the platinum. So there it is, guys. The platinum for Resident Evil 2. It felt so good to get the plat on one of my favorite games ever made. Overall, I give Resident Evil 2 a 10 out of 10. I love this game. And as a platinum experience, I give it a 9 out of 10. This was actually really, really fun to platinum. A lot of fun challenges that make you play the game differently than you usually would. And the collectibles weren't even that bad. Anyways, guys, that's it for today's video. Make sure to subscribe for more platinum trophy runs. And I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.